It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Black Sheep Brewery. And this is a bottle of their Cry Wolf Black IPA. It's coming in a 5% ABV in a 500 milliliter bottle. It's a dark brown bottle with a nice black sheep bottle cap there. The beer is cool, not cold. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Now, black sheep are being quite, I think it's quite a clever thing what black sheep are doing. Um, I was in Brew London recently and they had something called their kind of 12 barrel project. And it was a small microbrewery where they were kind of experimenting with different beers. Some of the beers there were monumentally good at Brew London. But whatever makes it, I suppose, from the five, the, the, the 12 barrel project, whatever makes it in terms of being successful, gets upgraded and brought through to the main Black Sheep Brewery. And this is what I think has happened here with this Black IPA. I think they've experimented it on the on the 12 barrel plant, put it out there in their pubs. Maybe a little bit of package product going on. And they've realized that this is a good one. So they've, they've put it into, into Black Sheep. And I think that's the way to go. I think every regional brewery out there should have a small microbrewery where they can play around a bit. Because you don't want to be playing around with your big kit. Because if something goes wrong with your big kit, if a beer goes wrong or a brew goes wrong, you've used much more malt and much more hops and much more yeast than you would have done playing around with your smaller brewery. That's why a lot of regional breweries in the UK are almost reluctant to experiment with things because their breweries are so large. Black Sheep, Brains in the past, I think they've got rid of their microbrewery now. I think Shepherd Neem got a little microbrewery as well. Um, that's the answer, is to have a small brewery to, to play around with, get things right, upscale it to the big brewery. We've got a jet black beer in the glass here. We've got a one finger tan coloured head. Nice levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. 5% ABV, so a pretty kind of, I wouldn't say overly potent beer. I picked this up in Tesco. It was just under two pounds for the bottle. Let's get the aroma. Twenty twenty two prices, mind you. Under two pound a bottle, you know. So hopefully it doesn't become like Lurpak, you know, and it becomes seven pound a a bottle in the next few weeks. And you guys are like, you said it was two quid. <laughs> It, it's quite nice it's got a roasty toasty aroma to it it's relatively hoppy there's a bit of orange peel in there a little bit of grapefruit let's dive into this one then cheers Oh, blimey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All that, um, maybe they promoted this up from their 12 barrel plant. I, I don't think so. Um, this is completely different beer from the beer that I was tasting from Black Sheep at Brew London. Um, this is like a different world. This is very metallic, very metallic tasting overly roasted bitter flavors coming through astringent bitter flavors coming through ah what a shame what a shame because i built this into i was hoping it was going to be something magical i've had this from black sheep before where you think you're going to be tasting something 
brilliant. You think you're going to be tasting something fantastic. It looked good. It smelled good. I tasted some good, great beers just a few months ago from their little microbrewery plants at Brew London. And then they go and stick this into Tesco. I don't understand it. I do not understand it for the life of me. Oh, it's awful. It's blimmin' awful beer. There's a reason why <clears throat> canned craft beer is doing so well at the moment. It's because they've differentiated themselves from bottles. Not all, not some, not the majority. A small section in the bottle beer aisle in Morrison's, Tesco, Asda, Sainsbury's. Not so much Sainsbury's. Some of it's awful. Some of it is absolutely awful. It's just regional breweries not much not having much of a clue about something and, and having a go at something or or producing something that's metallic and copper copper tasting. It's like it's like someone's dropped thirty old pennies in here, and it it just tastes so metallic and awful. I cannot believe. I was tasting some terrific beers from Black Sheep in Brew London from their little microbrewery plant. It was terrific. It was amazing. There was queues of people trying. They had a stout on it. It was about. It was like twelve or thirteen percent. It was majestic. This stout was fantastic. How can one side of the brewery? brew great beer and the more traditional side of the brewery brew something like this I, I just it, it, it's beyond me um, something's amiss something's aloof something's not right <sighs> unbelievable It's awful, awful. I'm only sipping this for the for the review. I wouldn't put any more of this to my mouth if if I wasn't standing here reviewing it today. It it's not. It doesn't even taste like roasted malt. It tastes like some kind of dark licoricey overly astringent bitter metallic copper awfulness <sighs> I don't know what to say I don't know like it, it it all it's almost bordering stupidity that why would they why would black sheep make the effort to go to brew London to, cut, to try and get a young crowd to start drinking their beer. Because they've obviously realised that they're, they're, the people who drink their beer are ageing. The, they're ageing people and their markets in the next 20 years is going to disappear. Why aren't they then bringing these youngsters over who are drinking the beer from Brew London and then producing something at least, at least half decent in this? It only has to be half decent for two pound a bottle or less than two pound a bottle. But this is this is bordering undrinkable. Shocking, shocking, shocking stuff. Expect the unexpected. The fierce bite of roasted malt meets the gnarly tropical bitterness of the New World hops. Don't be deceived, for in the darkness lies a juicy IPA. Prying on the taste buds. Just... Obviously... Obviously somebody in the marketing department has not tried this beer. 
or they've just been asked to write something about a black IPA and they've gone, right, OK, I'm going to open a book and I'm going to read about black IPA. I'm going to read about how they should taste. And they obviously have not kind of tasted this beer because if they tasted this beer on the back of the bottle, they'd, say, they'd be saying something like this. Um, this, this beer has been coloured. Um, it, it's it's jet back black because of the colour, and we've dropped or what tastes like a million pennies in the in the fermenter, copper pennies, and it's really metallic and it's and it's really. I mean, obviously they're not allowed to say that. They, they wouldn't want to say that. But 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 what I'm tasting here to what they're saying on the back of the bottle is so disconnected. It's unbelievable. It's almost laughable. Um, don't get me wrong, in the past I've had some decent beers from Black Sheep. The Imperial Stout that they brewed, I don't know, eight years ago, was tremendous. It was really good. Some of the other beers, some of their Golden Ale, some of their, I don't know, their, their Rig Welter is okay. Um, oh, but then this, this, this is just such a disappointment. Such a disappointment. Gonna rate it. It looks okay. As black IPAs go, it looks okay. It's got a nice head retention to it. The aroma is actually okay. It's a it's it's got the aroma of a, a pretty decent hoppy stout. But it's just the taste. It's just awful. Absolutely awful. Does not resemble a black IPA whatsoever. Black IPA. What is? I, I, I don't even. I, I'm not sure. I forgot the energy for this to talk about black IPA, or not the energy, but the enthusiasm to carry on with this review. You know, it's like so. Black IPA. I'll be quick with this because I'm really bored at this stage. Um, black IPA is uh, what I remember as a black IPA being it's black, you sip it, tastes like a, a golden straw coloured IPA, but it's black. Uh, Stone Brewing Company years and years and years ago made a terrific black IPA called Sublimely Self-Righteous. Um, I had it at the Great British Beer Festival 2012 and it blew my mind that I was drinking this black beer tasted golden, tasted like an IPA. It was wonderful. Uh, this is a million miles from that. Um, I'm going to rate it. I'm going to give it a very poor 3 out of 10. 3 out of 10 from me and L Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.